Elijah and the fathers, who tasted the constant presence of God, felt that this state should not end. When they lose it, they became like crazy people and cannot tolerate tolerate it. In the Song of Solomon, the bride, who symbolizes the human soul, went out and wandered in the city, searching for her beloved when he left. She said, My beloved knocked on the door, but I, but I did not answer, and when I opened, he was already gone. I became like a crazy person and went to look for him. God knows on God knocks on our doors all the time, but we ignore him. And when we need him and feel alone, we start acting like crazy people and search for his voice everywhere. When the bride found her beloved, she said in the Song of Solomon 3, 4, When I found the one I love, I held him and would not let him go. This is like a child who got lost from his father. He grabs his father's clothes because of the fear that he experienced without him. This is the feeling of someone who has tasted the sweetness of prayer and then loses it. He holds on to God and does not let him go. He does not want to feel these feelings again. That is, the feelings of lukewarmness and coldness and dryness. Before the crucifixion, Jesus said to his disciples in John 16, 33, You will leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. What the disciples did in this situation is very upsetting. They lived with him and saw his miracles, but they left him alone in this hard time. But Jesus knew that he was not alone because the Father was with him. Even if the closest friends left me alone, I am not alone. This is what God wants us to know. People will come and go. They may leave us in our hard times, but God is the only one who stays beside us. Even if my closest people leave me, I am not alone. We usually forget that God is with us and become and begin to blame him and say that he is not with us. In fact, he was always with us in the storm, but we just did not look at him. This is like when Jesus was asleep in the boat with the disciples. They woke him up after they had tried everything else, saying, Do you not care that we are perishing? They forgot that he was in the boat with them and could wake him up any minute to save them if they called him. There is a story about St. Anthony when he was young. The devils came and started beating him and grabbing him out of his cell. He resisted for a long time and, after a while, he shouted to God to save him. When he shouted to God, they disappeared immediately. When God saved him, St. Anthony said to him, Why did you wait till now to save me? But God told him, I was beside you the whole time, but I was waiting for you to just call me. We sometimes do that. God is beside us and very near to us, but we do not call him. So why not call him from the beginning? Why do you fear? Paul also reached this level of the continuous prayer and constant feeling of God's presence. All his friends left him when he was imprisoned in Rome by Nero. Nero was crazy. They said it was better to pray for him. Paul said, All forsick, forsook me. May it not be charged against them, but the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, and that all the Gentiles might hear. Also I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. 2 Timothy 4, 16 and 17. When God is with you, you won't care if people have left you. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, he was alone, but he was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. We talked now about how to have this state of God's presence in prayer and also how to extend it after the prayer. How to prolong that great feeling that you feel in prayer for the whole day and how to keep these feelings and not lose them after the divine liturgy. The first thing is focusing on your mission. And the second thing is holding on to God and never letting him go. There is a saying in Proverbs 12, 27, the lazy man does not roast what he took in hunting. If a fisherman lazily throws his net, he's not going to bring anything out. He who works needs to work for real. He who prays needs to pray for real. I held him and would not let him go means holding on to this feeling and being cautious not to lose it.